Next, we're going to be doing the player movement and player rotation. Uh, so let's uh, start by uh, filling out the callbacks for when we get the uh, movement and rotation um, messages from the server. So the first one, we're going to get the data from the socket IO event to string user JSON, user JSON. Position. So we'll just be converting that JSON to, you know, actual uh, vector three there. Okay, so if it is the current player, we don't really want to proceed because we're already going to be doing the movement um, for the player without networking. So um, if user JSON dot name equals player input dot text. Then we'll just return. Otherwise, we're going to find the game object. Uh, and if it exists, we'll change its position. Similarly, for the turning, um, we just have to change the data type to quaternion. And this will be rotation. And that's it for that. Um, so now we got to do the command. So we're going to have a command for that stuff too. So commands, uh, we're going to have to create it over here. Public void command move. So this is um, what we send to the server to broadcast everyone else when we move the player. String data JSON utility to JSON I think we called it player move. Uh, also do command rotate. Same kind of stuff, um, so let's do this. 
So player turn. Um, then we're also going to have to change the player controller. We have to revisit this. So yeah, switch back when networking, right? All that stuff that I wrote down there. So I'm just going to say this is false unless otherwise mentioned and that stuff's good, but down here we're going to have to make some changes. So, so we have current position does not... Why is it gray? That's weird. Redundant condition check before assignment. Okay. Here we're just getting access to the script so we can do the command for moving the uh, position there. So similarly you're going to need to I'm just going to copy this part here. Transform position this will be rotation. This will be command turn. Isn't that what I called it? Oh, I called it command rotate. Uh, let's call it command turn. Uh, just to be consistent. Yeah, so let's see if it works. Is the server running? Hmm. I'm just going to move up a little bit and see if that yeah, so that's going through and then rotate. Let's see if it translates to the other client over here. So, yeah, let's make the window small. Yes, yeah, so they both spawned at the same spot. Looks like it's working, but they're just, you know, um, mm -hmm. I think that's what's going on. It, it should, should transfer, it, it did before, I don't. That's um hmm. 
Hmm. I don't know. That's weird. Um, let, let's do a little bit more. Let's get the uh, gun shot in there. So, uh, that's going to be... <laughs> on players shoot okay so that one Uh, there should be data. Jumping ahead. So we need to find the game object. So game object p equals game object. Shoot JSON name. the bullet from the player script. All right, so now that that is in place, uh, we can do the command. So let's go back over here and public void command shoot. I call this like, <gasps> let's see, player shoot, okay, well, lowercase, um, yeah, I think that's it. All right, uh, let's uh, go back over to the player controller to revisit that. I'm going to need to uh, not do this, but instead do the networking manager. script and call the uh, message like so. And I think that should be good for that. Oh, um, yeah, we want this player from over here. Fireball it. We do that, and then this player form. Uh, 
uh, yeah, let's test it out. So I'm just going to go ahead and restart the server, rebuild the project. Oh, crap. I need to redo this. That client was running for a long time. Player two, player one, yeah. Yeah, I, I don't, something weird's like going on to where it doesn't like you know, register it unless you're both like, you know, it was working normally earlier, but um, I, I think that's just an issue with, with Unity. Uh, when, you, when you're playing the game, like you, you should, you know, see the networking stuff happen correctly. Yeah, it's, you, you can kind of see it like if, if, if I shoot the bullet real quick over here, you can kind of see it normally happen. But okay, so I, I think that's uh, that's good for this um, this video. Uh, in the next video, we're getting pretty close to wrapping up. Um, we're gonna do the networking for um, uh, changing the health. So that way, when the health changes, they'll get updates there. All right, thanks.